All right, guys, it's today. CPI from UK is coming on. And I have some interesting figures on my hands that I will disclose you in a few seconds. First of all, if you don't know me, my name is Lucas Santos. I'm the technical market analyst here at ACY Securities. And I would like to thank everyone that is commenting on our videos. It's liking, it's sharing. I can see the engagement and I want these to continue. So please keep liking the videos, keep subscribing, keep sending to your friends and spread this love, all right? And if you have any questions, I will be answering those questions as I've been doing in the past videos. All right, so today, four o'clock at Sydney time, of course, we have the UK CPI. Well, this, of course, if you don't know, will affect the pound, the GBP, right? And we can see that the CPI year over year previous was 7.9%. Uh, the expectations right now is that it comes nearly 1% lower. So it comes 6.8%, okay? So we had the previous at 79 and we're expecting 6.8% now. So this is a, a big drop. Um, I do believe that this will match consensus or a bit lower, but I don't think it will come higher than the consensus at no costs, all right? Now we're gonna have as well the CPI month over month. This other thing, it's on four o'clock, so it's on the same release. Um, the CPI month over month, the previous was at 0.1%, so last month we had 0.1% increase on inflation. And interesting enough, you ready? We're expecting a negative 0.5%. So they're expecting inflation to come at negative. So they didn't have inflation on UK the past month. Um, not too sure about that. All right, I'm not too sure about that. I think these ex expectations, especially for the month of a month, that, it, that they're expecting negative inflation, I don't think it will be met. All right, um, I do think inflation will come lower, but not at 0.5%. If it comes negative 0.5%, I would be surprised, to be honest. Um, and yeah, that's it. I would be very surprised. I'm not expecting inflation anytime sooner to come lower and lower at UK at the moment. All right, uh, well, if you don't know how to trade the news, there you have it. So if it comes higher than expected, all of those two, higher than expected, uh, we're gonna be looking to long the pound, especially against weaker currencies at the moment, um, JPY for sure, and US dollar. I know I've been talking about US dollar being data dependent and this, this and that, but being a data dependent, it is at the moment weaker for US dollar. So if we have a higher than expected, I would be looking to long pound against dollar and long pound against uh, Japanese yen. If it comes lower than expected, then it would be in my favor, then it would be on my analysis. I'm not too keen to long pound at the moment, just because the macroeconomics are not favoring this long position, uh, but I would look into short pound instead. If the news comes lower than expected, I would be looking to short, of course, GBP CHF um, and GBP USD. All right, guys, so stay tuned for today. Um, I will be coming here tomorrow and breaking down the inflation for you all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what you think is gonna happen with UK CPI and what are your trading ideas for the pound dollar. Okay, I see you tomorrow, bye bye.